Video 13 Conclusion Things to watch out for In this video, we will now take a look at the things to watch out for in the cloud. Security and Privacy As discussed in the previous video, security and privacy in the cloud are critical areas which have to be researched and understood before you can make a move to the cloud. Billing can sometimes be complex. Every provider has a separate structure for billing. Let's say if you store your data in AWS, you are charged 10 cents per GB per month. Concepts like GB per month are pretty new. Let's say you store 1 GB data each day till you reach 30 GB at the end of the month. It gets confusing if you are charged for the entire 30 GB or you are charged for something which is average over the month. Also, most providers charge you for bandwidth. When you consider bandwidth, is it at the application layer? Let's say you are downloading 1 GB of data. At the application layer, you are downloading 1 GB. But at the network layer, it may become 1.1 GB due to network overheads. So are you charged for 1 GB or 1.1 GB? So billing can be complex and difficult to understand. Costing is totally in the hands of the provider. This is interesting because Azure recently increased their price to match that of Amazon's. But usually the costs in the cloud go down. Still, prices can change anytime as it's in the hands of the cloud provider. Dropbox probably has over 20 to 50 petabytes of data stored in S3. If S3 increases their price by even a cent, that will have a huge impact on Dropbox. Still, it is really rare for prices to go up in the cloud since there is some real cutthroat competition for it. Finally, the things to remember. Cloud is not a silver bullet. It doesn't solve all your problems. You will still need good architecture and good software design to be successful. Security drastically changes. You need to fully understand the cloud to be able to make secure systems. Performance characteristics will hugely differ in traditional IT infrastructure and cloud. So the same application that perform well in-house might not perform so well on cloud and vice versa and might require some amount of tweaking to make them performant. Migration from traditional IT stack to cloud will be difficult and needs to be properly managed. For examples, Netflix move to the cloud did not happen overnight. They had a long migration plan and in spite of facing a lot of challenges and difficulties, they successfully moved to the Amazon cloud. They have blogged about this a lot and I would encourage you to check out their blog. Thanks for taking the course with me. For more information about our courses, log on to training.cloudbed.com. If you have any questions, please email us at questions at cloudbed.com. Thank you.